Welcome back, everybody. Glad you're with us on this Friday morning. It is 631. Joining us this morning is Dr. Robert Curry. He is the health officer for the Mississippi State Department of Health. And you're with District 4, which is basically our district. Yes. We're here to talk about immunizations. As I'm sure every parent out there knows by now, it is state law that your child needs to have a record of the immunizations before going to school. They need to present that information. Is that correct? Doctor? I do. Yes. And what kind of what kind of immunizations are, do we have to have our children get these days? In order to start in the early grades, um, kindergarten and um, in the first grade, they have to have their DTAP. Uh, which What's a DTAP? It is diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis. Okay. So uh, that is a combination. Uh, of shots. Uh, then they also need to have their MMR, which is measles, uh, measles, mumps, and rubella. And also, uh, they need to have their polio. Okay. And, uh, and the newest one added on is varicella. And that is chicken, chicken pox. Chicken, chicken pox. Right? pox. We yeah. were talking during the commercial break when uh, I was a child, smallpox was also thrown, thrown in there. But you're saying, you told me during the break that it's pretty much been eradicated. Right. We no longer immunize uh, against smallpox, but it was immunized many years ago. I was immunized mm -hmm. for smallpox. Uh, but, uh, but thank goodness that disease has been eradicated. And basically because of immunization. Okay. Why is it important? I think it's obvious, but t tell us what, why it's important that uh, each parent have their child immunized. Well, immunization prevents some significantly important diseases. Uh, diseases that we have not seen in recent years. Uh, we've seen some outbreaks of, of, of whooping cough, uh, which is potentially protected with our uh, pertussis mm -hmm. vaccine, uh, which can be quite significant and quite serious in really small infants. Uh, it can be deadly. So this is not something, and once they get, unfortunately, once they become ill, it's very difficult to treat it. Immunizations are, for the most part, an attempt to prevent a disease that would be very difficult to treat. Even now, with all of our modern medicines, it's very difficult to treat these. And then spread. These, right, right, absolutely. So you told yeah. me during the break that uh, the law kicks in as soon as a child goes to a school where there is a group of people. Right. Uh, right. Daycares, uh, uh, kindergarten, and of course, our, our regular public schools, as well as private schools. And where do, do folks get their immunizations? Where do they take their kids? They can carry them to their private provider, or they can carry them to the health department. Uh, and we provide those, we provide those immunizations. Uh, and uh, they need to, of course, you know, maybe call ahead to schedule. And this time of the year, it's like you said, it's scar school is just yeah. right around the corner. And, uh, you know, they need to call ahead and, and uh, schedule a time to get in to, to have those done. Doc, driving in from Eupora, we want to thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for the information, Doc. It's been a pleasure <laughs> talking you. to you. Right now it's